Hi friends and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hello! My name's George Agambar and I'm a UK music producer. Today's video is all about vocal vibrato. Now in singing, vibrato is when we sing a singular note and ever so slightly change the pitch of that note by less than a semitone as we sing it. It's all to do with the free oscillation of our vocal cords, which is all to do with having an open pharynx, the opening and closing of our vocal cords and our breath pressure. So today we're going to be having a look at vibrato and how to add it artificially to our vocals and how to take it away. So if you want to learn a little bit more about this, make sure you stay tuned and hit the subscribe button and notification bell for new videos every Wednesday. And things will never be the same when I hear your name since you kissed me in the rain. Vibrato is an effect which is believed to give us a warmer tone. In singing, it's not only a sign of good technique, but it can also embellish a note and can sometimes make it sound more natural. There are no rules as to when you should add vibrato. As I say a lot, it's completely dependent on your mix. But normally you'd find vibrato at the end of a phrase on a prolonged note. So first, let's have a look at how we can add vibrato to our performances. The most obvious way to add vibrato to a vocal is to ask your singer to sing with more vibrato. However, this does require a lot of control and good technique. But don't worry, this is a skill that can be developed and there are lots of resources online which teach you how to do this, which I'll leave a link to in the description. I can also make a separate video about this if you'd like as well, so just let me know down in the comments. Luckily for us, if your singer hasn't quite mastered vibrato yet, or you can't get them to re-record and have already been sent the vocal track, there are things we can do. We can artificially add vibrato to our vocals. So we're going to have a look at my three favourite techniques of doing so. And these are using flex pitch, using a vibrato plugin, and using a chorus. So firstly, we're going to be having a look at adding vibrato using pitch correction software such as Flex Pitch or Melodyne. Now, if you're not too familiar with how to use these, I have made a tutorial about this, which I will leave a link to in the description that you can go and check out. Here, I've opened up Flex Pitch on a vocal track. You can see that there isn't a huge amount of vibrato on this long note as the line is fairly straight. In Flex Pitch, the bottom middle circle is the vibrato control. To add slightly more, you simply click and drag the circle up and you can see that the line gets less straight. So let's have a listen to the before and after and how the pitch variation in the prolonged note changes. Won't you love me too? Won't you love me too? You can hear that the last note of the phrase had a lot more movement when we increase the vibrato. The next technique is using a vibrato simulator plugin. So let's have a look at Logic's stock plugin. The vibrato simulator in Logic is called Scanner Vibrato. You have the choice of mono or stereo. Personally, I tend to use the mono when adding vibrato to vocals as it sounds more natural. So this plugin does both vibrato and chorus, but today we're going to be looking at the vibrato. There are three types, which all have a different intensity. The rate dial sets the speed of the vibrato you hear. When in stereo mode, you have the option to select the stereo phase, which sets the phase relation between the modulations you hear in the left and right channel. If this is set to free, then you can independently control the speed of the vibrato in the left and right channels using the rate dials. So here is a vocal with and without the vibrato plugin. Won't you love me too? Won't you love me too? You can hear that the vibrato has certainly made a difference, and I love how natural this plugin makes it sound. Now, not all DAWs will have a dedicated vibrato plugin. 
but that's not a problem. We can use a chorus plugin instead to achieve a very similar effect. This is the chorus plugin. It delays and modulates the signal that passes through it, so it gives a vibrato-like effect. The rate dial essentially controls the speed of the vibrato. The intensity sets how much the vocal is modulated by, so how obvious the vibrato will sound, and the mix determines the wet to dry signal ratio, so how much you can hear of the vibrato. So here's a vocal with and without chorus. Won't you love me too? Won't you love me too? I think that it's all right and it works, but personally, I'd only use this if I couldn't use the other two methods of adding vibrato. Now, there may be some times where there's just too much vibrato on a vocal, and this makes the vocal sound weak and wavery, which is normally not what we want. And so we're going to have a look now at how we can remove this. And like with adding vibrato, we can use software like FlexPitch or Melodyne, or we can use an auto-tuner plugin. I just quickly wanted to do an example of flex pitch removing vibrato. It's pretty much the same way you add vibrato. You use the middle bottom circle, but this time you drag it down. And as you can see, the line gets straighter. Here's the before and after. Won't you love me too? Won't you love me too? You can hear that there was much less vibrato on the final note and it sounded less wavery than before. An auto-tuner can be used to reduce vibrato because it eliminates that pitch variation that the vibrato introduces into a vocal. But you do have to be very, very careful, as using autotune can really easily make your vocal sound unnatural. But that may be the effect you want. Here I've loaded up the autotune plugin and have set the key signature and a fast response time. This will make the vocal sound very unnatural, but it will show how you can't really hear the vibrato anymore. So here's the before and after. Won't you love me too? Won't you love me too? You can hear the vibrato is gone, but as I said, it has that robotic characteristic to it now that it didn't have before. Vibrato in general, in my opinion, is a funny one. There will be times when you want it and times when you don't. You just have to do what works best for your mix. But I hope this video has helped and given you the option to either add or decrease the vibrato in your vocals. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments and if there are any other videos you'd like to see in the future. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell and I will see you again soon.